Hi, I'm Amy Collier, Senior Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. And with me is Federico Garini, Senior Cloud Solution Architect over AVS. And he's going over phase two connectivity between AVS Private Clouds and Azure VNets. So on the agenda, we're gonna go on the second design and the approach through the network design guide, connectivity between AVS and Azure VNets, how to connect on premises to Azure into AVS, and then some security options. So Federico, let's talk about that second design area covered by the guide. Sure, I mean, so the second design area is connectivity between AVS private clouds and uh, Azure virtual networks. Designing connectivity between AVS private cloud and Azure VNets is uh, a relatively straightforward task. There are two options uh, and which one to use is dictated by the design choices made for the previous design area, which we covered in the previous video, connectivity to on prem sites. In a nutshell, if uh, in design phase one, Exosur Global Reach was selected for connectivity between AVS and on-prem sites, VNets can be connected to AVS just by creating a connection between the AVS managed circuit and an Exosur gateway deployed in the VNet itself. This is the default option and it is natively supported by AVS. If, on the other hand, the connectivity to on-prem sites leverages Azure resources deployed in VNets, as it is the case when using IPsec VPNs, for example, or uh, transit over Exposure private peering, then nothing more is needed. Connectivity between AVS and Azure VNet is already there as a consequence of what you designed for design, the design phase one. Okay, so Federico, um, we've got VPN or Express Route Gateways to connect to Azure from on premises, and Express Route Gateway to connect to your AVS managed circuit, and Global Reach for communication between on premises and AVS circuits. Seems pretty straightforward. Is there anything else? Well, uh, a typical requirement that must be addressed when designing connectivity between AVS and Azure VNets is enforcing network security policies. Clearly, this can be done by simply defining network security groups on the Azure side. However, most enterprise customers want to leverage firewalls that they run in Azure, either Azure Firewall or third-party NPAs. The guide covers this scenario and provides instructions on how to configure routing in the VNet to make sure that traffic between AVS and Azure resources in the VNet goes to the firewall when entering the VNet through the managed executor circuit. Okay. Great. Thank you again, Federico, for that straightforward explanation for connectivity between the AVS Private Cloud and Azure VNets. Now in phase three, we're going to see how to design for inbound internet connectivity for the Azure VMware solution. Thanks again. Thank you, Amy.